Hello and welcome my Pisces friends. This is Jennifer from Mystic Star. I want to thank you so much for spending time with me today and watching my video. This is going to be a general angel reading for my friends born under the Pisces zodiac sign. In this reading we're going to explore the messages that the angels have for you and what guidance they're offering. The deck I'll be using for this reading is the Angel Tarot created by Jane Wallace. It's a beautiful deck. And then after the reading, I will be ending the session with a blessing from the Angel Inspiration deck created by Kim Dreyer. I will have links below to both these fabulous decks, so if they speak to you, you are able to check them out for yourself. All right, my Pisces friends, Let's see what the angels have to say for you. What messages do the angels have for my Pisces friends? What guidance are they offering my Pisces friends? Okay, got a jumper there. All right. So the first card, it's a major arcana, it's a beautiful card, it's Temperance. And temperance is the 14th card in the major arcana. It speaks about balance and harmony. Jane is written on the bottom here angel of peace. Uh, she very much is. Uh, it's hard to see in this deck here, but the water's not flowing down, it's flowing up. She's all about being connected in with the earth. She's got one foot on the ground and one foot in the water. So she's all about that connectedness and that flow, the energy flow. For you Pisces, it's going to be really important that you are balanced and that your chakras are, are flowing properly. There's a lot of barriers that you have, blockages that you have in your, your chakras, and there's been a lot of imbalance. You've been kind of feeling teetery in the last little while, and the angels want you to look at that, and we need to work more into it. Two of Pentacles. The angels acknowledge that's a juggling act. But twos are all about that choice and duality. And then pentacles are about growth and abundance. It's about that ability to kind of juggle everything. There's so much demand on us these days, that ability to juggle both our spiritual and centered self with daily the grind and the, the daily tasks that we need to do. But making sure that we're balanced and our energies are flowing properly that's going to make our daily tasks a whole lot easier and we're going to find more meaning and joy in what we do. The Magician. Fantastic card. He's an amazing card. He's the, well, not the first card, but he's the number one card in the deck. Uh, he's about magic and it's about the male aspect of this. Uh, he has a consort, the High Priestess, who's right beside him in the number two. But he's the male aspect, and he's known as the Angel of Magic for Jane. And it's very much that energy draw. Drawing from the, many times he looks like he's holding his wand way up high because he's drawing the energy down from the universe. And that's going to be really important. You don't need to be doing this all with your own internal energy. Draw that universal energy up into yourself so that you're able to move forward. Those of you who have not um, looked into Reiki, I would really suggest it. It really gives you the ability to draw that, that universal energy down into yourself so that you're able to heal yourself, heal others, and be able to really balance. It talks more about that, that juggling act. So if you haven't looked into it and you were drawn to it, uh, it's a very, very, very positive piece and tool for you to, to use. Eight of Wands. Eights are all about achievement and movement. Wands are about that inner fire and creativity. What this is talking about is that the ongoing journey for you. You need to incorporate not only your passions into this, but you need to incorporate your whole life into this. 
compartmentalizing and segmenting ourselves, this is my work self, this is my home self, this is my spiritual self, isn't working for you very well here, Pisces. What you need to do is, as a whole, become one, become more balanced and more centered in who you are and what you're doing. How you're going to be able to do that is embracing your passions so that you are driven by them. Jane has written here, journeys. It is very much your journey. Right now, the angels want you to focus in on this passion piece so that you're able to start to balance yourself and juggle it a bit better. That passion will also bring in this magic piece of the magician. Also bearing in mind, they don't want you to burn out. They want you to draw the energy down rather than just burning your, your own candle. The, the universe has lots of energy. Every time someone sends out light and love, the universe just swells. Draw that down rather than your own. Similar to this angel of peace, you've got a journey here. There's lots of exciting and new things to happen for you and with you. So when you're driven by your passions, you're able to really enjoy that, that journey a lot more. So to kind of recap that, it's going to, for you, it's going to be really important that you're balancing yourself and grounding yourself in this journey. Grounding will help you feel more, less juggling and teeter-tottery. And when you start to really flow into your chakras and get your energies flowing better, you're going to feel better more able to connect in with those wands, able to draw that energy down. The magician is also connecting into your chakras with the Reiki. If you don't know how to, to perform Reiki, I would look into some courses. There's some really nice courses online, or if you know a Reiki master. If you are a Reiki master, you need to really realign yourself and really make sure your chakras are flowing. Let's look at what your shadow self wants to share. It's the Four of Swords. It's about healing. Your shadow self is that self where you've kind of locked away, hidden deep within you. That deep within you set, um, side of yourself is connected very much with your angels and with your higher self because your ego is not touching it. Your shadow self wants to talk to you about the Four of Swords. Four is a stable number. It's about foundations and structures. Swords are about truth and knowledge. Jane is written down here, healing. It's kind of ironic because that's exactly what the magician and this part of the temperance, the cups, are talking about. That healing part. Diving into that knowledge piece, Reiki or other energy healings, so that you are able to heal that, not only yourself now, but your past selves and those around you taking that knowledge forward so you're able to make a difference in your life and it will help you go down this road a little bit more okay let's look at what blessings the angels have for my pisces friends harmony When you start to rebalance yourself and ensure that your chakras are flowing and your energies are flowing to their utmost abilities, you're going to find harmony within yourself. When you connect in with the universal energy, you're going to find harmony with yourself and the universe. So it's very much about aligning yourself so that you're able to go forward, taking that knowledge piece and going down the path. There's much to do. For those who wish, you can pause the video here and reflect on the cards. This is a group reading. However, these cards were meant for you. I drew them for my Pisces friends. What did they say for you? Everyone has intuition and can access guidance through the cards. What further information do the cards want to share with you? I hope that you found this video helpful and that you were able to gain more insight into what the angels want to share with you. I want to thank you so much for spending time with me today and watching my video. I will continue to create more videos for my Zodiac friends in the upcoming weeks. 
If you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them in the comment box below. I'm always up for feedback from my friends. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for the latest content. Also, if you enjoyed the video and want to support me in making more, I have a Patreon page with many tiers and lots of perks. I've provided a helpful link below. Until tomorrow, my friends.